Welcome back to the healing studies. I need to remind you that I have already done two healing studies. One on the ten healing instruments God provides in the word of God. Two, the twelve body systems for divine health. So this becomes the third healing study. Today I am going to concentrate on the nine mechanisms of pathologies, the things that go wrong in human life, which have an effect on the body systems of health. I need to remind you again that we also have another series on healing impartation, which were done at live and active sessions. So you need to refer up those under my name. I am Lalit Mendes. I want to take you to Isaiah chapter 9 which is the chapter of great hope of a child being born to us, a son being given to us, whose name would be Wonderful and Counselor. So we know our Saviour had counsel and our Saviour had the wonder, the miraculous power to effect the counsel. He is also the everlasting Father, He is the mighty God and He is the Prince of Peace, which means His wonder and His counsel will bring up bring us shallow to all our body systems. Now let's look at this key, key passage of scripture to see what goes wrong with humanity. The passage of course begins at the end of chapter 8. Verse 21, they will pass through, chapter, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 21, they will pass through hard pressed and hungry. Now this is what people feel. Hungry may be man and, man and nutrition or it may be just oppression under hard pressure. And it shall happen when they are hungry that they will, they will be enraged and curse their king and their god and look upward. So curses and getting into rage properly disrupts the systems of body health God has provided. We did in our previous talk the first three systems quite thoroughly and an introduction to the nine systems. So the first system is the inflammatory cascade response. Second system is the immune response system. Third system is the pain alert system. Fourth system is the sleep awake system. And the fifth system that easily gets disrupted is the stomach acid music balance system. At the same time I need to tell you when you are stressed, even your eating, satiety, body metabolism rate, system control goes out of order. One system is connected with the other system. This is why we can understand and know and apply the 10 instruments of healing to avoid the nine pathologies that disrupt the body systems that God has given us for divine health. They will look at the earth and see trouble and darkness, gloom and anguish. You can understand that these are just in God's book, the book of Isaiah, but they are medical terms, anguish, gloom, depression, trouble, darkness, driven into darkness. So what are those influences that store up pain, gloom, depression? We are to operate through the prefrontal cortex, ventromedial, the dorsolateral aspect, the top of our brain, which is the executive empathic system of our brain. We are to think through, initiate, plan smart, initiate, navigate, and successful conclusion and the reward motive from inside. We are already thinking, I did it well. That dopamine starts it, serotonin gives you satiety and check back, and oxytocin bubbles up saying, I did it well. The reward motive. You are satisfied. That's how we should live every day, every hour. Now, these influences add up to stress. We have already learned the normal physiological balance of the body is called homeostasis. When the balance goes wrong, it is called allostasis. 
when the balance goes wrong and you get stressed out, a wrong hormonal response will be evoked where cortisol, stress hormone, adrenaline, your heart rate increasing and body fat metabolism going wrong and wrong fat deposition happens, your limbs get thinner and your belly gets fatter <coughs> and you get predisposed to stroke and to myocardial infarction. I'm just giving you how one system is connected to the other and the word of God tells us the trivial factors. Now we get on to Isaiah chapter 9. Nevertheless, the gloom will not be upon her who is distressed. So there's gloom, distress, and when at first he lightly esteemed. So there is the thing called lightly esteemed. Think you're going to put down in life. Now Psalm 103 says, He forgives our iniquities, heals our diseases. And verse 4 says, He redeems our life from ruin and rundown and crowns us with loving kindness and tenderness. That's the life God has for his children to be crowned with loving kindness and tender mercy. But you can live like a slave. You can live feeling inferior. God has asked you to live like a king. In fact, as a royal priest, having obtained your portion of health and salvation, you can give others their portion of health and salvation. But for that, you have to overcome, put down, lightly esteem. That also causes depression, run down. The land of Siblon and the land of Naphtali and afterwards more heavily oppressed. So there's heavy oppression and more heavy oppression. There's repression, there is suppression. Now, Galilee was the worst area when Jesus was born. So later they said, can anything good come out of Galilee? That's right. And in Galilee, Nazareth was known to be even worse than other areas. So uh, Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Because they People in Galilee looked down on Nazareth. That's how humans go. However, our Savior came into the worst situation to make it much, much better. By the way, we have to see beyond Jordan, the Galilee of the Gentiles. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light, so now the recovery comes. But here is another thing. Those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death. So there are experiences in our life that pushes us to the shadow of death. When all the systems go wrong, like in hepatic failure, after alcoholic cirrhosis, drinking alcohol, or just dengue fever. When many systems go wrong, it's called multi-system failure. You're entering a valley of the shadow of death. In the best sentence of the world, you may not come out of it. Where it's multi-system failure, it goes beyond doctor's help. This is why it's good for God's children to keep their health and know the 12 body systems for health, divine health, the 10 healing instruments God provides in His Word and through the atonement of Jesus Christ and now know the 9 pathologies that invade your body systems. You have multiplied the nation and increases joy. Rejoice before you according to the joy of harvest as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. Now, don't get spoiled. God has spoiled for you through the atonement of Christ. Is there anything, any situation that has despoiled you? meaning taken things out of you, uh, robbed you of health, finances, relationships. That's what disease does. So don't keep saying, my disease, my backache, my mother had it, my father had it. There is a time when the trap gets set. I call the trap the quadrangle. What happened to your father and your behavior style and that hour which comes up the hour of temptation and then Satan is waiting with the fourth part just to snap it and the trap is set and you're trapped in a quadrangular setup. You won't behave, your generational iniquities and the hour of temptation. It may come at 3 o'clock in the night as a heart attack or a stroke. Why that night? Why that moment? Passing through 39, coming into 40, we know gener generation iniquities way to pop up. Type 2 diabetes, hypertension, glaucoma, ischemic heart disease and heart attacks. Other illnesses are waiting to shop at that time. But why that time? This study is designed and directed to keep you from that hour of temptation. It will not come to you. That snare of the fowl, a bird catch will not come to you. Blood of Jesus Christ saves you. The word of God sanctifies you. 
and the Holy Spirit, the chief executive of the Trinity, anoints you and keeps you safe. Little more, and you'll understand some more pathologies. Isaiah 9, 4, for you have broken the yoke of burden. So there are burdens that come on you, like a yoke, your shoulders too, and you're getting ready as if you have all this to be part of the burden. Decide today, your generation iniquity or generation disease that is coming from inheritance, that is not going to be a life. You are coming out of this burden. For you have broken the yoke of his body, the staff of his shoulder, that is when slaves were driven, there was always a rod that kept hitting them, reminding them that they are slaves. That is out of your life today. Slavery to sickness, fear, intimidation is out of your life today. Expectation when night comes, I'll get asthma. If I eat that, allergy will come. When I'm at such and such a year, what happened to my father will happen to me. I drive out that fear in Jesus' name. What else is there? Star on his shoulder, rod of the oppressor, we remove in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then the warrior's sandal will not come upon your life. It's like a man, armed man. Disease comes like an armed man. You feel it's galloping. It is coming at an organ. But we can say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I resist you by the power of the blood of the cross. It is granted in the atonement. I'm not going under this wave of sickness that is threatening. So don't agree with the symptoms. Don't agree with the disease. Fear is false evidence appearing real. When symptoms come, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. When, when disease comes, when symptoms come, you say, symptom, get out. I don't agree with you. And this symptom will have no permanent logic in any one of my organs. You illegal scotter, out you go. I have already explained to you why you must keep your joy guard. Joy guard promotes immunity. And when your immunity is high, any cancer cell that is forming and escaping into the bloodstream will be swallowed up by the immune system. When your immune system is low, cancer cells escape and lodge for devastation and destruction. So the warrior's saddle will not come down. And then the noise of battle, let it come to rest. Broken relationships between father and son or mother-in-law and daughter-in-law or with your boss in your work field, the past experience, whatever the noise of strife, let it cease. We know that Isaac had a will that was filled up with the Philistines and they did not allow him to take it. That was called Sitna Conflict. Then there was the next well, Esek again trouble. But the third well, Rehoboth was a large space. Fourth well, Beersheba, sevenfold blessing. That's where you're going. You are no more going to be in sickness. Also, the rock was smitten in refugee. And 1 Corinthians 10 says that Jesus Christ and the river has begun to flow. And we are not going to make Massa, Meribah, conflict, debate out of situations that come against us because the river has begun to flow. And Numbers chapter 20 tells us to sing the song of the Lord and that the river that is already flowing will begin to surface and becomes a flood of blessing. And we know at Merah, the tree was cut and the leaves were for the healing of the nations. You read Revelation chapter 21, the leaves were for the healing of the nation. And it already began at Merah, confirmed at Calvary. And we have a new city, Jerusalem. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. And all what the city of God has in the book of Revelation, we can have it now. Certainly we will die. We will be resurrected. But we don't have to die in sickness. We can go to glory. I know a lady, she said, told all her relatives, her grandchildren, great-grandchildren, today is Sunday. I am unable to come to church. She was 95 years old. The Lord has told me, by 12 noon, I'll be going to heaven. She called all her children, kissed them, and at 12 noon, she went to heaven. A, a saint's death is so glorious. Did you understand that? It is leaving this body of decay and entering that home that Christ has prepared. In my father's house, there are many rooms. I go to prepare a place for you, and I come back. And I, But till that day, we can have all our hours functioning the full length of our days, none losing strength. Say with me, none losing strength. 
So today we want to pray also. So those are the, and, and garments rolled in blood, any blood bleeding, any burning, any full of fire that have come our way. Today we bring it to peace. All women's diseases, bleeding wounds, coming from curses, coming from demonism, coming from old vows. Today we say that issue of blood, heal and stop in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And here is the promise, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. So this good government of God's best health and salvation is resting upon our shoulder because we are the government of God. We are the body of Jesus Christ. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. We will see peace, shallow in every one of the body systems. And these pathologies that can infiltrate your system were all taken by Christ on the cross. He felt the rod of the oppressor. He had the stripes on his back. He had the thorns. He had the abrasions. He had the lacerations. He bore it all. And in his resurrection, overcome, overcame it all. And he comes in us, lived that resurrected life. Now, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has overcome the law of sin and death. That is our inheritance, that is our condition. And God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed in the devil. Acts chapter 10, verse 13. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I trust your word that I go and my 12 body systems for divine health. I live in shalom by the blood of Jesus Christ. I accept it, Father. Divine health is the children's bread. Thank you. In Jesus. Please write to us. Our email address is now appearing on the screen. And you can contact us. Healing Rooms on Friday 6 p.m. Healing Rooms on Wednesday 9 a.m. Healing Rooms the concept where the anointing descends to heal you. Not that you have, not that you have to pump up faith. Not that someone else has to pump up faith and lay hands. It is anointing descends to heal you. And you can also uh, write to us at 374 Lesson Ram Mamata, Colombo 8, Sri Lanka. We also have the Empathic Learning Center to get the children out of digital addiction and to get their brain tracks made right. God bless you.